वेलकम बैक टू एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन रिवर्स ऑफ द रेन बाई वॉल्ट विटमिन पार्ट टू फॉर स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन सो लेट इज कंटिन्यू विद द रिमेनिंग लाइन्स ऑफ द पोएम सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द वर्ड मीनिंग्स द डिफरेंट poetic devices like metaphor hyperbole oxymoron i told you i explained you also and now it is time to ask you some questions related to these lines so the questions are here first question is what did the poet ask the rain so the question is in past tense did so be careful yes the poet asked the rain who it was what was strange about the rain's reply tell me the answer what was strange about the rain's reply yes the rain's reply was a strange fact because rain was replying so normally we do not suppose a non living thing like rain can speak to someone so don't you think it is a very good example of yes when we consider non living thing as a person yeah personification correct so here the rain is personified okay let us start what was strange about the rain's reply the strange fact about the rain reply was number one it itself is strange that the rain was speaking and a rain by nature is never expected to give an answer so this was strange next question in what sense is rain the poem of the earth means how can we say it is poem of the earth so the answer will be rain is the poem of the earth because a poem is music so like a piece of music requires lyrics accompaniment the soft falling rain is musical to ears each rain drop is a sound the sound played for accompaniment and when all the sounds are collectively taken it is like a grand music with endless number of musical instruments okay next question is what are the permanent qualities of the rain permanent qualities yeah that changing of the shape but at the end it is water rain is permanently water although it changes its shape first to vapor and then become clouds next question is where does rain arise from yes rain rises from land and bottomless seas in the form of vapor question number 6 is what do you mean by all together chain and yet the same yes it is oxymoron and it means during evaporation water turns into vapor and ascends to the sky and becomes clouds though clouds are different in appearance yet they are originally water now the last question how does water change its shape so solid liquid gas yes the same process when vapor reaches the sky it changes its appearance complete to form clouds of abstract changeable shapes yet at its core it remains the same as it was at birth so let us continue 
the next lines i descend to leave the droughts atomies dust layers of the globe and all that in them without me were seeds only latent unborn so the hard words are descend here descend means to come down from a height fall okay then leave leave means wash or to give water droughts is actually dryness caused by absence of rain or water and dust here refers to soil some other words like atomies atomies means skeletons or here it is dry seeds then globe you know earth and all that in them means all the seeds buried in the earth and latent means not able to grow from a seed plant let us explain these lines so from the sky i start falling down as rain the rain here says to the poet the rain talk is talking the rain says from the sky i start falling down as rain and i provide water to the drought hit areas of the earth and i remove drought i further go deep down into the earth and give water to the underground earth as well means i improve the underground water level if i do not go deep down the seeds buried in the earth will not sprout will not grow they will just remain unborn unborn means latent okay and now it is time to ask you questions how does rain descend and the second part of the same question is what for how does rain come down falls yes rain descends by falling from the clouds it falls for the unborn seeds for leaving the droughts and for cooling the dust layers of the earth what is the effect of the rain so when it rains water returns to the earth as a little droplet which penetrates into the dust and rejuvenates the drought ridden dry land new plants find life uh, which would have otherwise remained hidden and unborn inside the land as more seeds sorry or as uh, mere seeds only thus this perpetual cyclic lifestyle ensures that the rain reaches to its origin the earth giving it life and making it pure and beautiful next question is what is feared to happen in the absence of rain yeah it is very important if rain is absent the seeds buried in the earth will not grow the earth will be dusty drought hit uh, besides without the purification process evaporation the seas and rivers will be stagnant and polluted at one point rain sounds a little proud of itself explain so that line is the rain feels extremely proud of itself it uh, claims that life is not possible without it it clearly says that all the seeds will remain unborn in my absence so it is proud okay so for today only this much i'll continue in the next video thanks for watching Thank you very much.